Iraqi army kills court of terrorists to the west of Al Fallujah, including the prince of the so called Islamic State in Iraq and the Sham in Al Anbar. Syrian Arab army foils an infiltration attempt for terrorists in the village of Qumeri in Tal Kalakh and eliminates scores of them. Under the protection of Erdogan's intelligence, various kinds of weapons are sent to terrorists in Syria under the cover of humanitarian aid. And Czech political analyst Zemanik says Volgograd explosions were masterminded by Saudi Arabia. This is news in English from the Syrian Arab Television in Damascus. Minister of Industry Kamal Din Touma, Minister of Social Affairs Kinda Shamad, and Damascus countryside governor Hossein Makhlouf inspected the displaced families from the city of Adra. The two ministers and the governor were briefed on the demands of the families who took refuge to the cement factory and their suffering as a result of the atrocious acts of the armed terrorist groups. Minister of Industry affirmed that the factory offered all possible help to the families in this period. Health Ministry announced that it sent a medical shipment to Aleppo province to support the health services offered in the public hospitals to citizens in Aleppo and restore strategic stockpile of medicine and medical equipment at the health institution in Aleppo. In a statement, Health Minister Saad Naif said that the shipment consists of three trucks loaded with medicine that enable health institutions to continue offering medical duties to the citizens in Aleppo. And Naif pointed out that the ministry during the last year sent 484 medical shipments to all provinces, including 18 to Aleppo, in a way to guarantee meeting the medical citizens' needs. The governor of Hama, Dr. Hassan Khalaf, visited Al Rabi'a town in the western countryside of the city and considered the huge sabotage made by terrorists on this town, whereas a terrorist group has fired rocket propelled grenades on the town, causing the martyrdom of a woman, two kids, and six injured, in addition to material damage in the citizens' houses. In the framework of combating terrorism, the army units continued their operations, targeting terrorist dens and gatherings, seizing their weapons and destroying their vehicles. The army units killed scores of terrorists, among them terrorist leaders, in a series of operations against their hideouts and gatherings in many areas of Damascus countryside. The army killed and injured all members of terrorist groups in the areas of Fadr al-Balad and Duma and destroyed their weaponry and munitions. The army units also eliminated all members of an armed terrorist group and destroyed many vehicles loaded with terrorists and weapons in the town of Al Mleha, whereas scores of terrorists were killed during clashes with the Syrian army in the area of Jobar, while 30 gunmen handed themselves in the authorities in the area of Berzi. Units of the armed forces foiled terrorists' attempt to sneak into Justice Palace in Aleppo city, killing and injuring many of them. Units of the armed forces also killed a large number of terrorists and destroyed many cars loaded with weapons and ammunition in the northern countryside of Latakia, while another army unit repelled a terrorist group which attempted to attack a military choke point in Dara city, resulting in the injuring and death of a number of terrorists. Work to Hamas were units from the Syrian Arab Army foiled an infiltration attempt from terrorists from the village of El Sultania to Abu Alaya farms, killing a number of terrorists and destroying their weapons. Also in the Kalak countryside, units of the Syrian Arab Army foiled a terrorist attempt to infiltrate into the village of Akmira and eliminated scores of terrorists. Going to Iraq, the fight against terrorism agency asserted that the security forces have seized control over 75 percent of Fallujah city, indicating that the concerned parties are preparing for a qualitative military operation to eliminate the ISIS terrorists 
the media advisor of the agency, said that the fighting against terrorism forces have made seven quality operations in Fallujah and were able to eliminate 15 snipers of non-Arab terrorists who have trained in Afghanistan and Syria. Emphasizing that the security forces and the tribes are now seizing control over 75% of Fallujah, adding that the fight against terrorism are preparing for a qualitative operation to expel terrorists out of Fallujah. While Iraqi security sources said that 32 citizens were killed in clashes between the Iraqi security forces supported by tribes and terrorists from what is called the Islamic State of Iraq and Hisham in Al Anbar. Turkish security forces seized a truck laden with ex weapons and explosives bound for Syria and arrested three people, including a Syrian. Turkish security forces on Wednesday stopped the truck in Kiri Khan town on the Syrian border, Harriet newspaper reported. A significant quantity of ammunition and weapons were discovered in the truck, whose drivers claimed they were carrying aid on behalf of the pro-Islamic Humanitarian Relief Foundation. Official Turkish documents and others from the United States reported that Turkey had shipped 47 tons of weapons to the terrorists since June. While the Turkish officials and mass media mentioned that transferring weapons and ammunition to the terrorists in Syria is continuous, under the supervision of Erdogan's government and the national intelligence apparatus. Dozens of intelligence and media reports pointed that the Turkish sides which support the armed terrorist groups in Syria are using the pretext of humanitarian aid as a cover for smuggling arms shipments to terrorists in Syria and that the Turkish authorities are deliberately turning a blind eye to these processes. The Czech political analyst, analyst Latislav Zemanik affirmed that Volgograd explosions which took place to the south of Russia were masterminded by Saudi Arabia despite the fact that the perpetrators were Chechens. In an article he published on his news website, the Czech political analyst Ladil Zemanic said that Saudi Arabia, which has been the strategic ally of the U.S., found its relations with Russia stalled especially after its failure to change Moscow's stand towards the crisis in Syria. He added that the two explosions were motivated by Saudi failure to tempt Russia, especially after the meeting held last August between Bandar Bilsantan, the Saudi intelligence chief and Russian President Vladimir Putin, referring that the failure to Bandar to change President Putin's attitudes towards Syria pushed Saudi Arabia to plan for terrorist acts in Russia. Zemanic clarified that the authorities of Al Saud are greatly interested in devastating Syria. For this reason, Saudi Arabia 